I would like us to start to recognize our attachments. Attachments to things, to people, to feelings. Because when we fully understand these attachments, we become more aware of the resistance we, others, children have to change. So if I was attached to the feeling that I get when I'm anxious, for whatever reason, my system has been pumped with adrenaline and cortisol. My internal nervous system has rewired because this has been over a long period of time. That becomes ingrained in me, that becomes part of who I am. I am an anxious person, state of being, personality even. Now, I am therefore attached <laughs> to that. I have a connection with it because it keeps me safe, doesn't it, when I'm there? Because that's who I am and that's my baseline and that is my norm, adrenaline, cortisol. And when, therefore, somebody nicely comes into my world and says, okay, we're going to look at reducing this anxiety, Tracy, <laughs> because you're wired. You know, your body can't go through that over a long period of time. And I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm with you. I will give it a go. So here I am, I'm going to give it a go. But my body, which is my subconscious system, will fear what you tell me to do because it's been so wired in, my internal system has been completely adjusted to a different state of being, to an anxious state, that when we together work on a change, work on, no, 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 you're not gonna be that person anymore, Tracy. You're going to be this relaxed, calm, balanced, because you need to go to work school you need to right i need to change i need to change i need to change i can't be that person anymore because i need to go to work i need to go to school whatever it is but we live so much in our subconscious mind it is hardwired into our state of being it's neuroscience isn't it that when i start to reduce my anxiety for the day. <laughs> I'm going to do my breathing, do my box breathing, do my box breathing, do my box breathing. My body will take me back, saying to me, chit chatter in my head, no, 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 no. This is, this is unknown, we've not done this. Whatever this box breathing thing is, I don't know what it is, Tracy, you need to stop. This is who you are, you're that anxious person. Where's your adrenaline? I need to pump the adrenaline in. <laughs> Keep thinking ne negative thoughts. Keep thinking the worst case scenario. Pump it in, oh yeah, 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 ah, oh, there we go. That feels better, doesn't it? I'm connected to that feeling. I'm attached to that feeling. I like that feeling because that's the feeling I know. Don't know this other feeling yet, but. It takes time. It takes time to rewire. It takes time to change patterns. It takes time to re-adjust our internal system, to know that actually this calm, regulated heart rate <laughs> and breathing patterns is actually really healthy for you. And wherever you were, you were going to burn out, were burning out. Maybe you started to refuse to go to work, school. So, you know, we need to be aware that our systems will wire in 
a pattern if it's over time. Our systems subconsciously will want to keep us safe in those patterns and we become attached to them. So I'm going to want to <laughs> have a bit of an argument with somebody to get the adrenaline. I'm going to want to maybe do risky behaviours. I'm going to want to get that feeling back. This calm, regulated, balanced state isn't wired in yet. Not enough. But this anxious one is. So my subconscious body, my body will take me there by actions, behaviours, thought patterns, negative spiral of, no, you can't do it. Oh, aren't you stupid? I knew you wouldn't be able to do it. Box breathing, you just look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, reaffirms, reaffirms the belief that your subconscious knew all along that you need to stay in that state, that emotional state, not this one. See, I told you, subconscious chitter chatter of, the, of your brain at night. So it takes time to attach yourself, <laughs> to attach yourself to this new way of being calm and regulated and balanced of being. So when working with a child or you're doing it yourself, you need to know it's going to take time to re-establish this new way. But neuroplasticity has told us we can do it. We can do it, but it takes time to unstick <laughs> these sticky neurons of anxiety, fear, subconscious belief systems that have been put into our system. We might have done it ourselves, negative thoughts, negative thoughts, negative thoughts, subconscious beliefs, I can't, I can't, I can't. And then somebody comes along going, right, we're gonna do some positive affirmations. It won't even get into the head because <laughs> your body goes, I don't know what that feels like. I am amazing. I am stupid. I know what that feels like. I don't feel, I feel stupid feels like. I am stupid, I know that subconscious feeling I know that one I am amazing I am amazing I am amazing I don't know what that feels like so it doesn't even go into the subconscious mind because there's no feeling attached to it and that takes time <laughs> to wire that in that's a separate conversation but being aware that we can pull back to these patterns and programming that is our <laughs> it's our body you know who's in charge yeah the body will take you back and it does it for the best intentions it does it to keep you safe it does it because it, it's the known and the known it can predict the known i survive in that don't i the known i don't know what safe grounded regulated feels like mm, i don't know what that is i don't uh, know no let's stick with this because I know it. So when you start this journey of change, when you start the journey of, right, we're going to try this <laughs> for yourself or for the child, we're going to give this a go. No, it takes time. It's not an overnight thing because that wasn't an overnight thing, was it? They just wake up with anxiety that we've labelled our systems to become. Don't wake up with that. It takes time to feel like that. So it's going to take time to rewire this new in, new one in. <laughs> so, you know, cut them some slack. Be, <clears throat> be aware that their, their body, you can do so much work with them. You think, yay, I've done an intervention, let's say, six weeks, six sessions, half an hour. We've cracked it. We've cracked it. Yes they feel more confident, let's say. Yes, they feel more confident. Maybe. <laughs> or are they attached to you and the feeling you give them of confidence and then you go off and then they're left with 
ah, how do I get that feeling back? How do I get that feeling without that person? <gasps> oh, so become aware of <laughs> the attachment. Is the attachment to the feeling or is the attachment to the person, the object? You know, we all know what coffee can do to make us feel good, don't we? That's an attachment. We all know what uh, chocolate, you know, that's an attachment. We know. In it goes, oh, that's a nice feeling for some. For some, you know, oh, yeah. So if I feel sad, what am I going to do to feel better? Let's get that chocolate bar out. That makes me feel better for that brief moment. And then <laughs> you're like, oh, God's sake. we won't go into eating. But it's the same principle. We are attached to. So this is about being aware of those attachment styles, being aware that it takes time to rewire. And it's a journey of change, isn't it? Not an overnight and that's fine. Life is very long. But just think, when this rewiring happens, that's your baseline. That's their baseline. Yeah, they might fall back into an old pattern of belief. They might, they might from time to time because they start to do things that challenge them. Oh, what do I do when I'm scared? Oh, I do this. I don't do it. <laughs> I stay at home, you know, whatever it is. So we have to be aware that this is so subconscious and so rooted and it's gonna take time. Take care, stay safe.